Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to use pointers in C++ and how you can declare pointers in C++. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use pointer with regard to functions. In my earlier videos, I have shown you how you can pass arguments in functions. And that specifically is called passed by a value. So what I have shown you in the earlier videos, for example, you create a function pass by value, for example, and you are passing some variable here, val, and for example, you have val is equal to 100, okay, and whenever you declare one more variable x is equal to 20 here and when you call this function here pass by value and you pass x in this function and we try to print x here what happens is Whenever you pass x here, the value of x is passed in this function, but the, not the address of the x or address of this variable. That means you are not passing this variable itself, you are just passing the value contained by this variable. So whenever you try to print this x once again, even though here we are assigning val is equal to 100, what happens is the value will remain same. So let me compile the program and run the program and the value is still 20. Even though we have passed this x here and we have assigned 100 is equal to value. So ideally what should happen is the value of x should be 100. but because we have passed the value of x and not the x itself or not the not the address of x itself it just cannot change the value contained inside x it just sends the copy of the value and that's why the value of this x remains same now for example you want to show or you want to change the value of x itself when you call it inside the function what you can do is i will declare a variable called y first is equal to 20 itself and i'm going to just declare one more function which i will call pass by reference and how you can pass by reference just pass the address of the variable and what i have shown you in the last video what is the definition of a pointer a pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable so this will contain the address of another variable who whatever variable you will pass here right so now what will happen is once again i will copy it and paste it here pass by reference this is pass by reference now and what i am going to do is i will pass y here not y but the address of y by y because a pointer always takes the address of the variable, right? That's why I have written AND here. And this together means that we are passing the address of Y and not the value of Y, but the address of Y. And once again, when we try to print Y this time, let's try to print Y. This point this should be pointer because i'm copying i forgot to give pointer here 
and once again I will, I will compile the program and I will run the program and now you see what happens here. In the first case when we pass the value, the value of x did not change and it remained 20, right? But when we pass by reference, that means we have passed the address. So this address will never change and we have passed the address when and we are changing the value inside that address so that uh, this value in the same address will be 100 now so will be replaced by 100 instead of 20 so now this will show you 100 here so whenever you want to change the value of the variable whenever you pass it in the function you use pass by reference and whenever you want to just give or just give the copy of the value you just give or you just pass uh, it by value so i hope i am able to clear this to you and i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now